Round two. Well, welcome to Little Silver here in Devon. We are here for the second round of the Women's British Motocross Championship. You can see the WMX adult class lining up in the gates for their first race of the day and of the weekend behind me. We also have the British Youth Motocross rounds here. They're on the, the big wheel um, and small wheels, 85 classes. They're here for their round five. And also the autos and the 65. 65s are here for their second round and the autos are taking to the track for their first round. So yeah, like I said, we've got the WMX adult class preparing on the gates for their first race of the day. It was actually um, in qualifying. Sorry, let me just get my notes. It was Grace Richards also looking very quick in qualifying. Catherine Booth, um, Catherine Booth took the overall win at Link when they were last time out. So she'll be looking for strong starts. So yeah, I'll pass you back over to Ben and he will talk you through the action for the first race. Thank you, Braden. So, uh, yes, here we go. Lining up for this race then. So we have uh, Elaine McKirken, fastest in practice. Second was Catherine Booth and a surprise maybe third, Grace Richards in qualifying as they line up here. The 15 second board is up and ready. Turn around five seconds and here they go now. Oh, and someone loops it on the start. And that's uh, Lauren May Collinwood has gone down on the start line. Front uh, back fender completely wrenched up, but it looks like we've got the uh, fastest ladies in practice going well nicely here. 145. We've got Grace Richards right up there. And it's Grace Richards out in front who uh, takes the uh, early advantage from Elaine McCurkin as they come up this first section of the hill. Some scrapping in the mid pack there between Chelsea Gowland and Charlotte Hall. Coming down towards the centre of the circle as they make their way through to this very tight little section. And straight away, Campsie leader Catherine Booth has commanded the has taken command of this race ahead of Elaine McCurkin. Number 22 is in is he Neil is right now in third place. Looks like Grace Richards made a mistake out of our camera shot here. But yeah, we've got uh, Catherine Booth, Elaine McCurkin, top two in the championship, top two in this race, making their way down the centre of the circuit here. Towards the back of the pack there, we've got Charlotte Hall. And Georgia Johnson. As Laura May Collingwood on her Yamaha is uh, feeling the cost of that start line mistake. Maybe the whole shot device didn't engage properly, so it reared up on her more than she might have thought it would have done. But as they head over towards the far end of the circuit, it was Catherine Booth out in front ahead of Elaine McCurkin. And I'm sure many Scottish uh, viewers or listeners are uh, wincing at my pronunciation of Elaine McKirkin, but I'm from the West Country, so it's a bit tricky. <laughs> but uh, she's definitely going to bring the fight to Catherine Booth, the two of them, only two points apart in the standings. As they come through now, round, coming round to complete their first lap. Out in front as she crosses the finish line there, 138. Catherine Booth well out in front there at the moment. She's got a good lap on this first already. But now she's got very close company. In fact, Elena Kirkin's very close to her. And we've got uh, Chelsea Gowland right up there in third place as well. So it's very close between the top three. And then in fourth place, it looks like we've got Amy Goodland is right up there, number 178 on the Husqvarna in fourth place. In, yeah, in fourth place, both in this race and in the standing. So we've got Catherine Booth giving all sorts of uh, trouble to Elaine McCurkin out in front. Meanwhile, a bit further down the pack here, we've got Izzy Neal having a close little scrap with Charlotte Hall. That's coming down the first bank, big downhill, we've got. Catherine Booth out in front, 138-32. No, it's actually McCurkin out in front now. Elaine McCurkin out in front, Catherine Booth in second. Third is Chelsea Gowland. And then in fourth place is Amy Goodland. Quick as, they, quick as you like, they go through together. Fifth and sixth now is a good scrap here between Izzy Neal and 211 Charlotte Hall. So they're fifth and sixth. Seventh there, number 551, Marnie Saunders.
and still very close but McKirken won that second race at Ling she's looking to take the red as a uh, change for fifth place as Charlotte Hall fires at the inside of Izzy Neal as we join our race our race leader here at the far part of the circuit number 32 Elaine McKirken all the way from Scotland Argyle area here in the tabletops at the far side of the track absolutely no problem at all for these WMX ladies see some of the fastest lap times here today from these girls they come through McKirken in front as they go through to the wave section up the hills cutting up nicely a couple of ruts but not too bad it's hard surface underneath as uh, she comes around to complete the second lap and that's Elaine McKirken out in front He's out in front ahead of Catherine Booth. Chelsea Gowland still there in third ahead of number, ahead of Amy Goodlad, number 178 on the Husqvarna. Izzy Neal and Charlotte Hall were engaged in a good little dice for fifth place. And currently that's the property of Charlotte Hall. She comes across. But McKirkin having a three second advantage over Catherine Booth. Chelsea Gowland and another couple of seconds further back. She's not used to having anybody in front of her. The BWMA series, absolutely dominant there. She's only dropped one moto in that entire series so far, which is uh, quite incredible. But she's giving uh, Catherine Booth all she can handle. Chelsea Gowland getting close as they approach the far side of the circuit. The uphill, tricky double jump, where the landing area is higher than the takeoff ramp. So always a little tricky. Just got to stretch it out. Make sure your weight's over the front of the bike. Coming down the middle hill, Catherine Booth in second place, but it's number 32. Elaine McCurkin is absolutely flying out on the, uh, in front on her KTM. Team Green Kawasaki, Chelsea Gowlin, giving Catherine Booth some hassle, keeping her in sight. Fourth place, Amy Goodlad, falling back a little bit now, three seconds behind at the start of this lap, but it looks like it's uh, being stretched out a bit. Chelsea Gowlin definitely pushing, closing as they go down through the middle of this circuit. Chelsea Gowland definitely looking like she's going to give Catherine Booth some hassle in this, which will further damage Catherine Booth's championship uh, efforts as uh, McKirkin will be um, overtaking her in the uh, points if it ends like this right now. Still that good, uh, good scrapping through the pack there. Six in, uh, I think for sixth place now between Marnie Saunders and Izzy Neal. For sixth and seventh, very close as they go up through the middle of the circuit. Neil just about fending her off. Chelsea Gowland away from Manchester on that Team Green Kawasaki. The green and pink outfit, the fast house gear, very distinctive. A very smooth riding style as well. Chelsea certainly showing everybody the way in the BWMA series and uh, here in the ACU. She's now uh, definitely mixing it with the top ladies in the country. And all the way from Scotland, Elaine McKeerkin takes the... Uh, Finish line flag as, uh, again as they continue on another lap. Now stretched out a six second gap over Catherine Booth. Chelsea Gannon just 1.8 seconds back, looking very uh, threatening in that third place. Certainly uh, not an issue there with uh, the physical fitness side. Chelsea should be able to uh, last the whole distance of this 15 minute plus one lap race. And a faller there. That's Jamie Garud on the number 27 Husqvarna, the Jurassic Fiber Husqvarna, sampling the fiber of the uh, little silver circuit here. Obviously wearing the old magnetic peak, that's disappeared on the all-white uh, crash helmet. As another good scrap further down the standings here, 22 Izzy Neal and Marnie Saunders, 551. Right together as they go down the uh, furthest downhill on the section of the track, right around the outside goes Marnie Saunders right around the outside for sixth place it's a great overtaking move from the Yamaha girl that's for their banding over sixth and seventh place and uh, Izzy is tenth in the standing so she's uh, higher up than she was at the first round at Ling and Marnie Saunders eighth in the series so certainly she'll be looking to improve on that currently there in sixth and seventh so she's making ground on the likes of Grace Richards, who's a bit further down in ninth place at the moment, and Charlotte Hall, who's actually just ahead of both of them. Coming down to the middle of the cir circuit, Chelsea Gowland still stalking Catherine Booth. And a very close move, Izzy Neal very nearly taking 
Very nearly taking Marnie Saunders at that bottom corner. It's going to get very tight through there all day. And Grace Richards is starting to recover from that must have been a, an accident on that first lap. Definitely we had the whole shot and uh, very clear lead early on, but um, disappeared from the reckoning after she was so fast in practice, though. Grace Richards, you should see her start to pour through the pack with that extra pace that she showed in the qualification session early in the day. The track was a bit heavier then, so certainly less to hold them back at this point. Grace Richards closing in on eighth place, Georgia Johnson. And she's got seven seconds between her and Marnie Saunders in seventh. So over the line goes Elaine McKeekin. I have to get her out to educate me on uh, how to pronounce her name, but she's definitely out in front now is Elaine. Second, Catherine Booth. In close company still is J Chelsea Gowland. Just uh, under a couple of seconds back and definitely in Catherine Booth's eardrums. She will hear that Kawasaki, the four-stroke. She'll hear that coming up behind her, so she will know that Chelsea is there giving her some grief. Amy Goodland now in a, a solid fourth place. She's got a decent uh, gap over Charlotte Hall in fifth. And Izzy Neal and Marnie Saunders virtually together over the finish line and still very close company out on the circuit. Uh, Marnie Saunders has pulled out a little bit of the gap there as they cross the line. She's made five seconds on her in that lap that she actually passed her on, so definitely Marnie showing some good pace. She might well move up to threatle, threaten Charlotte Hall. And Izzy Neal will have to deal with the charge from Grace Richards coming through the pack, who's uh, right on Georgia Johnson's case now for eighth place in this race. Very close, coming to the tight hairpin in the middle of the circuit. Catherine Booth on the KTM. With Chelsea Gowland, giving her all the grief she can handle. Yep, number 32, Alain McKirkin, out to the far far side of the circuit, that corkscrew section, left downhill, right downhill again. And another still, a close scrap, it looks like Grace Richards has actually caught Georgia Johnson now, so the pair of them are together in the middle of the track. That's the, that's the scrap for eighth place. Richards will be super frustrated at that. She's looking to close in the gap. Laura May Collingwood is fifth in the championship, but uh, only a point ahead. So she's definitely going to make ground as Laura May is a bit further down in this race after having uh, simply looped out of the start line. So Collingwood not actually out there at the moment. So that's definitely going to lose her some points. And Grace Richards will try and take every piece of advantage she can of that. And Amy Goodland, who's currently fourth in this race, will be, uh, would have been quite happy to see uh, Grace Richards out of the way as Richards makes that move. Grace Richards moving past Georgia Johnson for eighth place, but Johnson's not letting her have it and out jumps her up the hill. So Johnson fending her off and back throw. Great scrap here. Just took the gap straight away. No hesitation. Grace Richards. Showing that extra speed, she was third in practice and she's showing that pace now. Coming back past Georgia Johnson, she's got around about eight seconds to make up on Izzy Neal, but at the pace she's going, that certainly is possible. As Marnie Saunders makes her way over the, over the finish line in sixth place, she's just seven seconds down from Charlotte Hall, so she might well be able to charge through. And looks like Georgia Johnson has uh, hurt herself, she's uh, shaking her arm. Could be arm pump, it might be something worse. She's definitely not looking comfortable out there. She's losing ground. And now Chelsea Gowland has taken second place. Chelsea Gowland passes Catherine Booth, the BWMA champion, showing the ACU girls what she's got here on this racetrack. Northern girl from Manchester actually uh, catching the far northern girl, Elaine McKirkin now, who has uh, a nine second gap over Chelsea in this race. So fantastic to see Grace Richards pushing it, the back end stepping out. There's only three seconds to catch up to Izzy Neal, and Izzy Neal is right in Grace Richards' sights now. McKeerkin over the middle of the track. Commanded lead, the Scotswoman. 
But Chelsea Gannon in that second place will have ideas. She'll want to put pressure on. Show that she's closing that gap up a little bit. Right in the middle of the track, we've got Grace Richards catching right up to Izzy Neal. As the uphill waves dealt with very easily by Elaine McKirkham, the race leader. Chelsea Gowland second, Catherine Booth third, Amy Goodlad in a constant but lonely fourth and threatening now for seventh place. Grace Johnson around the outside of the bottom of the central hill. Not quite able to make it count. Gowland's taken two seconds out of McKirkin in that lap. Closes the gap to 7.9. Gowland was two seconds faster around that lap. Pulling away from Catherine Booth now, who's five sec four and a bit seconds behind her. And there's uh, a familiar move. Grace Richards makes the same attempt that she did on Georgia Johnson. And this time she does the jump after that corner to seal the deal. So Grace Richards closes the line smartly on the inside. Keeps Izzy Neal back in, se in, uh, in seventh now. Sorry, in eighth place, uh, Grace Richards has taken seventh place. So... Got a bit of a gap to Charlotte Hall at, uh, ahead of her in fifth, but uh, Charlotte Hall takes that finish line. Uh, 15 seconds back of fourth place is Charlotte Hall in fifth, and seven seconds behind there is Marnie Saunders. And Grace Richards will be crossing the line in seventh place any minute now. Just taking, that, just taking the finish line jump there is Grace Richards, and she's got uh, quite a gap, about uh, 13 seconds back of Marnie Saunders, but she is fast. So catching and uh, could well be moving still further ahead in this race. But meanwhile, coming down the central hill, Elaine McKirkin, well out in front on the number 32 KTM. Drop the hammer is the name of the sponsor, and she's certainly doing that. And the team green, Kawasaki, Chelsea Gowland making her way down that central section and uh, still trying to chip away at that lead for Elaine McKirkin. You never know around this circuit, bit greasy. Some treacherous jumps, any little mistake. And down as I say it, commentator's curse. Elaine McKirkin drops it in the far end of the course. Chelsea Gowland could well catch her up. McKirkin remounts and Gowland is right there. McKirkin, Gowland over the uh, central tabletop there. And Gowland goes right for the lead. Chelsea Gowland overtakes a beautiful inside move. Gave Elaine McKirkin no chance at all to recover. And the pair of them now duking it out for this race. Fantastic spectacle here, and Elaine is getting ideas about making a move straight back. She had a big lead there. It's doubtful that Gowland would have caught her had she not gone down, but she has, and they're up together through the central wave section, the, the wave section up the far side there. Five waves up that hill all together. Sight line, and Gowland is holding the pace. Catherine, uh, Chelsea Gowland is not clearing passes over the finish line. Comes Chelsea Gowland and uh, Elaine McKirkin, as quick as you can say, at 1.3 seconds between them. That certainly livened up the uh, race at the front end. Chelsea Gowland, well out in front there. She started quite a way back in third. Took her a while to get past Catherine Booth. And Elaine McKirkin will be absolutely beside herself with fury at dropping it on that... Uh, Left hand, uh, the front end just washing away on the slight banked corner. There aren't many banked corners on this race, but that was one of them, and she certainly dropped it there. So she's not letting Gowland get away, though. She's definitely giving a hassle at the far end of the circuit, showing her a will. No doubt uh, giving a bit of a uh, panic rev to let uh, Gowland know that she's there. Further back, Catherine Booth, about six seconds back from McKirkin at the moment, so she's in a, a solid but lonely third place. Amy Goodlad is still there in fourth, got 10 seconds over Charlotte Hall. As Georgia Johnson looks like she's pulling in, she's had enough. Goes down the side of the finish line tabletop here, so Georgia Johnson won't be adding many points to her tally for the year. And looks like Grace Richards has gone down again. She's gone back to eighth now. So Grace Richards was on a charge forward, but she's had it halted a little bit there. Georgia Johnson pulling aside means that Grace is back up to seventh. But uh, Charlotte Hall will breathe a, li a lot more easily in fifth. Marnie Saunders is there in sixth. That's the two uh, Yamaha yeah, girls. And the two at the front are getting close again. Chelsea Gowland, Elaine McKirkin having a right go at this. Gowland short on that jump. McKirkin tries on the outside. Gowland's too smart for that. She's not going to let that happen. 
Gives her a bit of attitude towards the outside of the circuit. Holds the tight line coming out. But that's sketchy. That's not helped her up that uphill jump. Elaine is getting very close. These two very evenly matched out in front. Gowland up the uphill waves. McKeerkin very close in her wake. Certainly be grateful that she saved the tear-offs at the start of the race because she'll be getting through them now behind Chelsea Gowland. Over the finish line jump. Comes the race lead on the Kawasaki. And that's it. That's the checkered flag. So Chelsea Gowland has taken the win. First race win for Chelsea Gowland here. Elaine McKeerkin second. Catherine Booth comes across in third place. So that will leave the top two level on points. Elaine McKeerkin and Catherine Booth from two seconds apart going in. And they're now absolutely level on points for the championship lead. And uh, here we are. We'll just take you across to Braden for the, uh, who's with the race winner, Chelsea Garland. I'm here with the first race winner of the day, Chase Chelsea Gowland. Chelsea, well, it looked like kind of Elaine got out from the start. She got away. You managed to get your head down. Talk us through the race. Yeah, I, think I didn't get a good start, so it made it a bit of a struggle in the beginning. It's quite a hard track to pass. Uh, managed to get past Kath, managed to get in second. And Elaine had gapped me quite a bit from then. And I think I will get a couple seconds a lap on her but um, she was quite in front and um, she crashed I think two laps to the end so I just got the opportunity and took the win. Cool and then going forward now throughout the day are you hoping to stay on the top step of the podium? Well that's the plan but small across anything can happen but that, that's the plan. Great race well very consistent there and all the best in the next races. Okay, thank you. Now I'll go over to Elaine well Elaine will be gutted because what a start perfect kind of race and Chelsea just said you made a mistake so I'll talk us through. Yeah I'll stop the way the front end well, you know you've got the pace, obviously, to kind of get out there and get into a flow, get into the river. And what do you want to do going forward now in the next races? Yeah, yeah, I was enjoying the track, like, so, uh, but it's just unfortunate. Well, that's what happens when you push into the limit. So, yeah, very well done there, Elaine, and hopefully see you back here soon. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. And then finally, chat to, the, well, the round one winner overall, Catherine. Catherine, it was a good start, kind of, to the race then. Talk us through the race. Um, I had a really good start. Uh, Elaine come past. I tried to stick with her um, because sometimes she uh, lacks off a bit at the end of the round. With arm pump in that race. Um, I had a big crash in qualifying. I smashed my face in, so... <laughs> I'm just happy to come away with third overall in that one and looking forward to the rest of the weekend. Yeah, cool. I'll, show, I'll see you on the podium in the rest of those well, spaces. Yeah. And that puts a draws of close to our first race of the day, which was the WMX adult class. An absolute cracker from start to finish.